Hey people, RV Keys here, and today we're back with another video. This time we're going to be covering a product which is called the Epos B20 streaming microphone. Now this was sent to us by the lovely people over at Virtual Comms and Epos, so huge shout out and thanks to them. Now this is a USB microphone, so there's no need to use an XLR cable or an audio interface. And it is ideal for streamers, content creators and podcasters. So keep that in mind. It is probably comparable to what you'd find from Elgato with their Wave microphones. What we're gonna do today is just unbox the product, give our initial impressions, and then over time, I'm gonna do some streams and create some content making use of this microphone, and we'll give a more in-depth review once that's happened. Now, before we begin, I do wanna ask a little favor of you. Please drop a comment, drop a like, and hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy this type of content, doing that will help me out greatly and I'd appreciate each and every one of you that do so. Without further ado, <laughs> let's go. Just a heads up, I did have some audio issues when I was actually recording this unboxing, so we've re-recorded it using the B20 microphone itself. So if you want to know how it sounds, now's your best chance. Okay, let's begin the unboxing for the B20 streaming microphone. Now, if you're not too familiar with Epos, you may be familiar with Sennheiser as they're essentially the same company. So to my knowledge, I believe they've started doing wired and wireless headsets. They've got some earbuds and other gaming accessories. So they're definitely worth checking out as they're very reputable within the industry. Okay, so this is the box. It's actually quite nice packaging. Um, the microphone itself is seated nicely in here. What have you got inside this box? We have got the USB cable and some leaflets. So it looks like this is operated using USB-C, which is perfect. We've also got the booklet which describes how to set it up for your PC or for your console. Alright, so this is the EPOS microphone. It's very lightweight and as you can see it's got the EPOS logo on the side here. Uh, there are four little dials. We'll have a look and see what those are for in a moment. And yeah, the logo is on the top of it as well. So the first dial is for the volume. The one on top of it is to mute the product. And as you can see here, this dial allows you to change each of the pickup patterns and the dial above it is for the gain. Underneath the product, it looks like this is where we plug in the USB cable and there's also a input for a 3.5mm jack, of course that's for headphones. So this thing attached to the microphone is actually the stand or part of it anyway um, so as you can tell it is built in which is lovely you don't have to go and buy an additional peripheral just to stand it up on a desk and here we have the actual base of the stand And that is essentially everything that we have inside of the case. I'm going to set it up, plug it into my PC, and we'll see if there's any software that we need. Okay, people, we're back. Uh, we've got the EPOS B20 microphone right in front of me. It's all plugged in and all installed. We've also got the Rode Procaster microphone here. Now, I know it's not a direct comparison, as this is a XLR dynamic microphone, as opposed to this one right here. But... It's all I've got to compare it to, but just for reference, this 
EPOS B20 microphone would be very comparable to the Elgato Wave microphone. So keep that one in mind. Uh, let's open up this program here. All right, so you should be able to see on the screen, we've got the settings. There is an update available, so we're just going to process that right now. Okay, so first up we have the microphone tab. In here, as you can see, there's a variety of options. You can mess around with the gain, the side tone, the noise gate, and the noise cancellation. Um, you can also perform microphone tests in here, which is actually really, really good. Uh, and you can also put on some voice enhancers. So if you'd like to change your voice from a warm tone to a clear tone, or one that you'd like to create yourself, it can all be done using this program. I've just noticed here as well, it also tells you what setting you've got your microphone on. So if I switch this knob here, oh, you see, it switched to saying omnidirectional, switch it again, we're on stereo, and we switch it back, we're on bi-directional. Alongside that, we've also got some mic monitoring here. So if you wanted to have a look and see if you're clipping, you can do that within this section here, which is actually really nice. Of course, if you're using something like OBS to stream, um, you could do the same inside of OBS itself. We've also got this other tab here, which is called playback, which I believe is for when you've got uh, headphones plugged into the microphone itself. If you want to monitor some of that, change some settings. As you can see, you can change it from 2.0 to 7.1 surround sound. You can do sound tests. You can raise and lower the volumes of the bass, the mids and the highs. Oh, you can also change modes you Can change. If you're listening to music, do just that music, esports, <laughs> movies and flats. So I'm going to have a mess around with that. I'll have to let you know in a future video my thoughts on that. So we are going to perform a little test. I've got both microphones recording. We're going to do a comparison between the two. And then I'm going to go through each of these voice enhancer pre made settings. So with it off on warm and in clear. I'm not going to mess with the other settings too tough. So we're just going to get a fresh out of the box experience here. Naturally, at the moment, neither of these microphones have a pop filter put on them. So we're going to have to listen out for those plosives as well. I do have one for my road, but I decided to take it off just for this test. <clears throat> Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. <clears throat> Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. All right, so we've covered the EPOS gaming suite and the EPOS B20 microphone. For a USB microphone, it is actually really, really good, especially considering the price coming in at around 90 to 100 pounds, as opposed to the price of a lot of these XLR dynamic microphones. It's a very good place to start. If you're just looking for a mic to do some streaming, maybe on Twitch, YouTube, start up a podcast, especially seeing as it has a lot of built-in settings. Um, for example, you've got the bi-directional and omnidirectional sounds, which is very useful for when you're doing a podcast. In regards to the settings on the actual gaming suite itself, it is quite bare and minimal. So I can see the need for other plugins elsewhere. You know, you can find them and use them as extensions to OBS. But yeah, it's a good microphone. I've got nothing bad to say about it. I'll probably be making use of it some way, somehow in the future. So just look out for that in the upcoming videos and on my streams on Twitch. Once again, I just want to give a huge shout out to Virtual Comms and Epos for sending this microphone for me to test, unbox and give my impressions we're gonna do a follow-up on this maybe in a month or so's time so look out for that video it'll be a bit more in depth but until then take care of yourselves remember to like subscribe drop a comment all that good stuff and take care of yourselves bye